previously on the dragon ship. And you know what? Speaking of Hafiz, you know, um, Hafiz and Ruslan, you know, let's just kind of label them the, the Bible pill, right? You know, um, <laughs> Uh, the I would say the old Tradcon Bible pill. People are, uh, of course you wouldn't, Paul, because you're not hip and anything like that. <laughs> we can yeah. add to that list, yeah. We'll we'll add Paul to that list now. Um, no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, you know these guys came out. Uh, well, then you're in that category, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely kind of fall into the Bible pill, like you know the biblical worldview. Um, uh, but um, Hafiz and you know Ruslan come from a very traditional religious biblical background um very purple pillish and hafiz is known for coming out or uh, starting off with the uh, what was it called the um the roommates the roommates podcast right oh that which he dude. still do yeah, you know, yeah, still does it. yeah yeah he still does it oh, okay i didn't know if he yeah. did it or he went solo now no as um, far as i can tell that channel is still active with at least a couple of the members okay, okay. cool um so he kind of started out and doing a kind of red pillish kind of thing there. And then uh, he kind of pivoted and went like straight anti red pill and um, start, you know, uh, making a whole lot of, you know, anti red pill comments and talking about how the red pill is bad. And, you know, him and Ruslan kind of teamed up together and they did a couple streams about how the red pill is bad or whatever. Um, and, you know, Ruslan ended up debating Rolo on Saucecast uh uh last year as well but what are these guys gonna do by the end of this year do you think they're still gonna be that you know the anti-red pill force you know are they gonna pivot or do you guys kind of think that you know either either the red pill people are just gonna shut them out or are they gonna you know do something else well i'm gonna go on hafiz hafiz can speak for hours and say absolutely nothing the level of confident ignorance with the, coupled with the need to be right, he reminds me a lot of Oswald Bates from Mad TV who can say a lot of nothing and get a lot of emotion stirred up and nothing is actually said. And he has chosen the red pill to be his oppressor bad guy and to say it is dangerous, not only to say it's dangerous, but to come out and say it's extremely dangerous and that we should all be giving men uh instruction actual prescriptions on how to be better husbands and fathers he goes on that line which the other religious guys do you're going to talk about which is that everything is men's fault 100 percent because men much like jordan peterson said with the lost boys this is all your fault and you're just not being men enough that's it that's the whole thing now when it comes to his prescriptions it's basically do what I say, not what I do. And what I say really is a bunch of container words, which you're supposed to figure out and run your life that way. That's my thought on him. He will continue to do so because there are men that really want to be emotionally riled, kind of, you know, get riled up like that and then have somebody tell them to charge the hill. So I yeah. think continue. I think it's actually going to get much worse in 2023 as traditional conservatives really don't like some of the aspects, the harder aspects of RP because it calls out the fallacies with their fantasies and how they've lived their lives. Can I oh, comment yes. on that? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, please. well, so what you're, and I did a show on on this recently too, because, just because just something I noticed, you know, it's, it's that uh, what you're going to see is a red pill in manosphere space is going to get polluted more and more with people who are not really what I would consider experts in this area, not really well, not, you know, not that much, that knowledgeable. They're going to use I, you know, AI and they're going to do a lot of basically spamming the space with low quality content to try to get eyes on them. They're the grifters, right? You're going to have a lot more grifters that realize that they might be able to get some sort of viewership and maybe some sort of money out of the space out of using manosphere using red pill and so as you get more of that it becomes easier for guys like that to build a brand counteracting the straw man that those people create right because they're competing with each other on sensationalized comments not things that are actually practical and that things that a guy can use in action in his life 
but things that are more designed to be divisive. So some guy like guy from the roommates or whoever can now go anti red pill increases viewership because, you know, red pill will get you censored a little bit, right. Um, by this, by most platforms. So he can increase his viewership, not deal with censorship and counteract. He's got a ton of, you know, nonsense that he can counter very easily. Things taken out of context, right? Things that principles that are put out from the red pill people that are good, that maybe get bastardized, you know, and used in the wrong context and used in the wrong way and, and used for, for sensationalized statements. Right. So, so that's, so you're right. I agree with you, Thor. That's what's going to happen. And a lot of it's because people in that consider themselves in that manosphere red pill space, they're, they're, you know, they're, you have a lot more grifters coming out. So it's going to be easier to create that straw man now, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent commentary. I think we're kind of seeing it from the same angle, but I think that's going to, we're going to see that space really increase, particularly as we get towards the next prediction is like, we're going to let Lauren talk to us a little bit about the economy. But when times get hard, it's really, we, we are kind of an ideal bad guy. And with what happens with uh, the Tates, we end up with that, you know, whatever's popular. It's called, what is it? The, the dog pile or pile on in psychology. Once it's a tipping point, we're going to suffer the consequences just in general, you know, and uh, we have our fair share of kind of, huh, leeches that jump onto this space because it has become popular in the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, let me, I'll share mine real quick. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the Hafiz and Ruslan. Okay. Here's my prediction. One Ruslan is still, still going to avoid having a debate me, with me this year um, until he drops his album. And then I give him like a five out of five mics on the MTV or, you know, the source magazine vote and gets his you know, album some sales at that point he'll debate me but until then he'll probably still avoid me he told me last time in the in one of the chats i need to read one of his books i don't think he's written anything except a couple lyrics for his new song so what's but, your prediction um, for him in 2023 so my prediction for him is he's still going to do his thing i think he's going to stay in this lane in the, in the bible lane and kind of still go off on the red pill um and the same thing with Hafiz. Uh, I think Hafiz is going to tend to go more political, though, as uh, as um, the election season starts to drive up. I see him going more political tradcon, speaking on those topics um, more than we than he does now. Um, and that that's just my opinion because I see him as kind of more of a politicianish, you yeah. know, person. Um, but I think Ruslan's still going to do his thing. Um, the funny thing is for, for these guys that don't understand is that the Bible really was like the first original red pill book. Okay. Um, there's, there's so many principles that the red pill adopts that are found within the scriptures of the Bible that it's funny to me that here guys from the bib a biblical worldview to speak so negatively against the red pill. I don't think they know. can because it conflicts with their uh, conviction of the romanticization of, of blue pill tenants with yeah, but, religion. But exactly. So it's like either are they really maybe subconsciously they're speaking against the biblical principles as well, not just the red pill. And they don't even know it yet. Um mm -hmm. And, but that's a whole nother discussion. Now I you think know. you're going to see imitators. What do you think? Because you oh, yeah. have David Hammond, right? Yep, we got David Already Hammond. Already growing. And and that well, here's the funny thing is is like with David Hammond, when you know you're bad, when Alex from playing with fire decides to go, you know, diss you as well. Okay. <laughs> All right, you know, if 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 somebody that is like Alex is coming at you for the same shit that I'm coming at you about, you know, hell froze over for one, and two, you know you are. A, a, a grifter at that point 